Welcome everybody to a look at a brand new Warner Brothers Archive Collection release and it is 1981's Prince of the City. So this is directed by Sidney Lumet who also has, I've seen 16 films now from him. Uh, he did the likes of Dog Day Afternoon, Failsafe, The Offence and The Deadly Affair. Loved all of those films and uh, yeah this is a neo-noir crime drama clocking in at gigantic 167 minutes long. Stars the likes of Treat Williams, who was also in the even longer Once Upon a Time in America, Deep Rising, Dead Heat, The Phantom, and Muller Holland Falls. It also stars Jerry Orbach, who was in the likes of Universal Soldier, Someone to Watch Over Me, and FX. So this is about a New York, detect a New York City detective called Daniel Cielo, who uh, agrees to help the United States Department of Justice help eliminate corruption in the police department as long as he will not uh, have to turn in any of his close friends. Uh, that's the stipulation that he insists on. Um, in doing so, Cello uncovers a conspiracy within the force to smuggle drugs to street informants. So this will undoubtedly be unfavorably compared to Serpico, which was also directed by Lumet and had a similar plot. And for some, it might be a little on the long side of things, but I feel it mostly justified its length um, while also being engrossing throughout. The cast is also great, especially Treat Williams, who really anchors the film while his character has effective characterization. It is also well paced, the score is excellent, the cinematography is on point, New York is an effective setting while avoiding the uh, more overused parts of the city, and there is some decent tension throughout. So, yeah, it's definitely a, a bit of a lengthy film, no doubt about that. I'm not going to, you know, wholly say that it needs to be 167 minutes long. There are some people that have said that it should have been at least a half an hour or even 47 minutes shorter, a good type two hour long film. But I still, like I said, feel like it justified its length overall. And uh, yeah, I feel like if you started to cut elements, uh, length out of it, that you would have, you know, exercised some of the characterization or some of the parts that are more crucial to the film, even if they don't initially feel like they are. So yeah, I think it's a really, really superb effort. And it's one of my favorites from uh, Sidney Lumet, to be fair. I actually slightly enjoy it more than Serpico um, purely because I think it doesn't rush things and uh, yeah that's to its benefit more than its detriment so yeah there's a disc and on the disc itself we've got a couple of special features we've got Prince of the City the real story so we basically get a interview with the um, the actual police officer that this film is somewhat based around uh, and it's also based on a book as well from 1978 so yeah it's based on real events as well as a book and it kind of melds those two elements together and you also get a theatrical trailer on top of that so i feel like this film is highly underrated in terms of uh, lumet's uh, filmography obviously he's done other great efforts like 12 angry men and the like but yeah this is one of my favorites from him and uh, yeah it ranks right alongside fail safe and the offense for his five star rated films with several of his other ones being four and a half out of five so he's easily one of my favorite directors so i'm really really glad i finally got a uh, chance not only to see this uh but also to own it because yeah this wasn't available on blu-ray before this release in the uk at the very least so yeah great to have it finally on a widely available release and uh, yeah i do highly highly recommend it if you're into lumet's filmography or if you're into you know these kind of crime films or if you're just generally into, um, you know, seeing new films that might not necessarily be in your kind of wheelhouse. So, yeah, but if you have seen this film before, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.